Hello lads and lassies and welcome back to my channel, it's I, Mr Mayhem. Today I'm bringing you my 10 most anticipated films of 2023. Now these are in no particular order, but as always if you do enjoy this video remember to leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe for more. You can support me on Patreon, links in the description along with my Instagram and Twitter. And yeah, let's just get into it. First up we have Dune Part 2. Dune, I loved, saw in the cinema. It is incredible visually. Everything about it is just incredible and I am very, very excited to see what big old Dennis has done. Didn't even knew that is. With this second part, hopefully he doesn't fuck it up, but I have faith in him because he is a fantastic director and I just don't see how he can fuck it up, but super super excited for this one next up we have <laughs> saw 10 now i'm excited for saw 10 because i love this franchise and like it's a guilty ple pleasure franchise and the fact that they are bringing back tobin bell as john kramer jigsaw in 10 but he's been dead since three oh it's, it's going to be gold it's going to be quality those films are so dumb the first one's actually good but the rest are just so dumb and I love them and I'm so, so, so fucking excited. Just to see how, like, what stupid shit they pull out of their ass this time. But, yeah, Saw 10's gonna be, it's gonna be interesting. Next up we have Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1. The Mission Impossible films, I've had a weird history with. I've barely seen the first three. I've seen all of them at least once. But, like, four to six are films that get better as they go on. And, oh my god, Fallout is a masterpiece. One of the best action films ever made, in my opinion. Just seeing Maverick and everything, I just... I, I, I have no doubt that Dead Reckoning Part 1, it won't disappoint just because of how invested Tom Cruise is with his stunts and the action and making things look awesome. And obviously the director, Christopher McQuarrie as well, but holy shit, very, very excited. Uh, if you've not seen the 10 minute behind the scenes uh, video he posted a couple weeks ago, check it out. It's, it's insane. Then we have Creed 3. Now, I grew up with Rocky. My dad showed me them along with Star Wars and that, but the Rocky films to me... My favourites are 4, Balboa. Yeah, probably 4 and Balboa. I do like the rest of them. Obviously, the first one's a classic. But those are just pure enjoyment for me. There's not a Rocky film I don't like. There's only one I don't enjoy. Actually, yeah, I'd say I don't like it yet. Yeah, it's Rocky Five, obviously. But the Creed films. Creed 1 was incredible. Saw that in the cinema with Callum. So that's special to us as well. Saw Creed 2 in the cinema with Callum. And I never thought that Creed 2 would be anywhere near as good as Creed 1. I thought, okay, it'll be simple. It'll be bad to okay and we'll move on i like creed 2 more than creed 1 creed 2 is insanely good and i'm nervous but excited for creed 3 because it's obviously michael b jordan is directing this time it's his debut and the trailer so far they've not shown too much and it looks quite i love it it's nothing new it's nothing mind-blowing but that doesn't matter if you do it well that's all that matters to me Hopefully Michael B. Jordan can pull this off. I'll be checking that out day one in IMAX with Callum. Next we have Transformers Rise of the Beasts. I recently watched 3, 4, 5 and 6 with Callum because he got his 4Ks and he hadn't seen them in 4K before. I just really enjoy the Transformers films. The action is just so much fun and this is the first mainline Transformers film we've gotten. I don't count Bumblebee because that's a spin-off but it is sort of mainline. This is the first Transformers film set around the actual like group led by Optimus and obviously there's the Beasts as well but I'm looking forward to seeing another director handle this group of Transformers because it went very, very well with Bumblebee. That was fucking great. So I'm hoping it's the same with Rise of the Beasts where you give it to someone other than Michael Bay and it turns out to actually be really fucking good. So here's hoping that Rise of the Beasts is good. Next, we, <laughs> we have Barbie. So when this film was first announced, I was like, oh, great, it's a Barbie film. Then Greta Gerwig signed on as director. Then Margot Robbie signed on. Then Ryan Gosling. And then the rest of the cast. What is this film? I need to know what the... The trailer is so weird, but there must be something there if, the, if there's all this star power. And I'm just so fascinated by it. I've never thought I would say one of my most anticipated films of the year is Barbie. And then we have Oppenheimer. I've been seeing that first teaser for Oppenheimer for like four... Four... Well, July. So July 3... Five months in the cinema and it's just agonizing. Every single time I go in, it's just like, it's the same thing. Ugh. Obviously, if you only go to the cinema once or twice, it's fine. But I'm sure if you're watching this channel, you're probably more than just a casual film lover, I would imagine. When the first trailer for the film was released last month in December, I am hooked. I am so, 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 so excited for this film. Obviously, because it's Christopher Nolan. I mean, I was already excited already because it was Christopher Nolan and the star power and Killian Murphy and just everything. And also all the behind the scenes stuff where apparently Christopher Nolan wanted to re... Like, they recreated the explosion of the atomic bomb. Obviously, they didn't set off an actual atomic bomb, but when that came out, everyone was like, you good, bro? And I saw a couple um, piss take articles that was like, Christopher Nolan's next movie. I, I want to recreate the Big Bang, but without CGI. I want to do it in camera. The fact that he wanted to recreate the explosion in camera and apparently they've done it is insane. The behind the scenes photos are mental. I'll put a couple up here if I can, but no. Very, very excited for Oppenheimer because it's Christopher Nolan. 
and the star power is immense. Scream 6, Scream 5 was way better than it should have been. So, so good. I'm very excited for Scream 6 because it's Ghostface takes Manhattan pretty much, but it's the same guys who did Scream 5 and Ready or Not. So fingers crossed it's just as good. And this setting could go really well with it. And the first teaser trailer we got looks really, really fucking cool. So... And the poster is fucking awesome as well. But I'm very, very, very excited for this film. Evil Dead Rise, the trailer they released at the time of filming this yesterday was absolutely incredible. It actually looks really scary. And Evil Dead's not been scary. Like 2013 got close to it, but all the stuff that's come out about it has always been, oh yeah, this is going to be a scary as fuck Evil Dead. Bruce Campbell is producing it, so I have hopes because he because he because he introduced the teaser. But super, super excited for this. Really hope it's good, and I'm glad it's getting a cinema release. And finally, we have John Wick chapter four i am stoked for this john wick has been one of my favorite franchises since the first one came out the second one is the best but they're all just great and i am so excited to see what they did with four although there's meant to be a fifth and they're setting it up in the trailer like oh if you do this you get out and i also have another problem with in three they said like just before three came out they said oh this will this will be the last one then it ends on a cliffhanger that pissed me off in the cinema and it still does piss me off and it pisses me off more now that the setup for the trailer isn't what they set up at the end of three where they're going after the high table. It seems to be him going back and them giving him an, another chance to leave. But then there's also a fifth film that this one can't, it, it's confusing. So yeah, I don't know how they're gonna do it, but that has been my 10 most anticipated movies of 2023. I do hope you enjoyed. If you did, remember to leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe for more. Support me on Patreon, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Links are in the description. I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.